So let's talk about penis size because this is something that mm-hmm. men are obsessed with. Oh, 100%. And you mentioned earlier that you don't have like an incredibly long penis. No, I. Uh, Nina Hartley said it's the most user friendly cock. <laughs> Which at the time, like before that, I was like always nervous. And then she said, I was like, well, she's fucked everyone. So I guess that's not a bad thing. (laughs) So, I mean, then you kind of like prove the point. Because I think so many guys get in their head that like you have to have this massive, huge dick Mm. in order to be in porn. And that's like, and girls only want guys with like dicks that big. Yeah. But that's uh, not your experience. No, I mean, there, there definitely has been that experience. There, there's def. I've met girls who are like, I'm a size queen. I'm like, cool. So we're not fucking or we are <laughs> like, because like I've, I've had girls that never, didn't have sex with me yet. And they said that to me. I'm like, so should I leave bye? Now? Or like, do we want to hang out more <laughs> or should I be fisting you as I fuck you? I don't know. Like, well, I can figure something out, I guess. Um, but like most, I'd say the amount of times I've heard a girl say she's a size queen is and again that could be because they're just trying not to say in front of me but i've had girls tell me it maybe four times in mm-hmm. seven years yeah and four different girls um so most of the time because girls have to deal with these massive cocks like dread who is a lovely person and a he lovely individual such a lovely such person. a sweetie such a sweetie yes. but in general it's like when girls have to deal with like doing that, it's like they have to mentally prepare themselves. Yeah. It'd be like me having to jump out of a 17 story building. You know, it's like, I got to kind of get in the right mindset to do that, you know, mm-hmm. instead of just jumping off my fence, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. You can jump over the fence all day long. You know, it's like 17 stories. Oh, that's a long way down, you yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> or a long way up. However you want to think about it. <laughs> so it becomes this thing where, uh, a lot of, they don't have to think about it with me. It's like, mm-hmm. we can just have a good time. I can bang them the fuck out. I can touch back. You know, I can get my balls to touch it. You know, it's a, it's a nice thing, you know, but that's not saying every once in a while, like I would love to experience the girl doing like that. That seems like it's cool as fuck. But at the same time, having that much blood go to my dick, having to push that, all that and worry about that massive hog all the time seems stressful as fuck. And also too, like, you know, a lot of times, like when girls are giving a dick that that's big, mm. that that is that big, a blowjob, like they're not getting the whole penis. No, they're only getting like the head. Yeah, it's so like imagine like getting blowjobs for the rest of your life for like girls only like like. Oh no! Your head. Oh, like I don't want that. Sad, I just right? want the hand job. Like I love hand jobs in general, so it's like <laughs> that works well for me. But in general, it's like it, it's. It's not something I'd want. It seems sad, but it's like every guy thinks that's what they need. I mean, that's what I thought for years. Yeah. I, th- I thought every black dude was better at sex than me, and mm-hmm. I will never have a big enough dick to please a woman. Mm-hmm. That's how you. Th- that's how you said that. Isn't it interesting how the porn industry made you feel different about that? Well, it also is the one who made me feel like that. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like. Well, before- yeah. I mean, yes. So yes, both. Like, yeah, because the be- experience in it is what I mean. Sorry. Yeah. Because before I was in it, that's how I thought. I, and that's mm-hmm. why, like, when I went to swinger parties, I'm like, I just was trying to go and just be the most energetic fucking person there. So I just go in there and just destroying people. Mm-hmm. But like, and then I got into porn, and like, I remember being in a, a blow bang with like the big dick dudes. It was like. Bambino, Nick Mason, uh, Isaiah Maxwell, who else? There's like two other guys, and it's me. And I'm like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> this looks, and like, you know when you get all the guys to stick their, like, hip to hip, and there's a girl in the middle? And I'm like, I'm trying to scoot in a little closer. You're and it's push your hips forward yeah, just it's, a little bit more. And it's Bridget B in the middle, I'm just like, this is stupid. <laughs> this, is like, this is so dumb. And her fucking tits, and I'm titty fucker, I'm like, uh... <laughs> Can we just call me in at the pop, you know, like, I'm... Oh and I've, do, I've done that a handful of times where I'm in these scenes and you put me in there with the bigger guys and I'm like, who the fuck is doing casting here? <laughs> yes. You want to grow railed out? No problem. Hey, you want a big, strong looking dude? No problem. Why you put me with Alex Jones? <laughs> I love Alex. I love Isaiah. I love all these guys. They're great. But I'm like, Why? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's who else was in it. It was Alex Jones, Isaiah, Bambino, and uh, Nick Mason. Yeah, so I'm like into me. I'm like. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see that scene. You can go look it up. It's what a, is it? It's, uh, was it fucking Perv City? I don't, I don't remember. It was like the only time I ever worked for that company. It was a long time ago. Okay. But if you look at Bridget B. Blobang, you know, okay. I'm sure you find it. Okay. Yeah. So it's just it's just fucking baby dick Nathan and all these fucking massive cocks. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Because and again, I know that I don't have a baby dick, but it's just in general when you're to compare. Yeah, yes, when you're comparing understand. on camera, it looks 
awful. And but also at that same moment, I'm sitting there and I'm like hip to hip, and I'm like, everyone's bigger, bigger than me, but it's not that bad. But visually, it looks terrible. Because <laughs> everything's like bigger, we're smaller on yeah. camera. So yeah. it's just like, eh, so. <laughs> so uh, 